Hi guys, today on RSAF TV, we are at Blood Bank at HSA where we are joining the trainees from Air Force Training Command in a blood donation drive. As part of RSAF 55 this year, the RSAF CARES Committee has organised an RSAF blood donation drive where all our personnel are welcome to come down and donate blood. We know that blood donation can be daunting to some of you, so we are here to find out actually how simple the process is and also to get some tips from our blood donor on how they overcome the fear of needles. So without further ado, let's go! Blood donation consists of six steps. Form filling, registration, blood test, medical screening, blood donation and refreshment. Come follow us! Step 1. Potential donors start by filling up a health assessment questionnaire to determine their eligibility for donation. Step 2. They submit their forms at the registration counter and get a queue number for the subsequent processes. Step 3. They will go through a mini blood test to check their haemoglobin levels. This process only involves a pinprick and will be over shortly. Step 4. They will then do a medical checkup where their blood pressure, pulse, and temperature will be measured by a doctor to ensure that they are fit for donation. Fun fact Do you know that donating blood will allow you to lose up to 650 calories? Step 5. Once everything checks out, it is time to donate blood. Let's talk to the donors about their experiences and find out if they have any tips on how to overcome the fear of donating blood. So how do you feel? Uh, it looked worse than it felt. And honestly right now, I'm not really feeling anything. It's just existing. Yeah, I feel great. Like everything went smoothly. Yeah, so we just pack out the needles. Lah. So I think everything is, is good so far. Was it as what you imagined it to be or is it better? It's actually much better. Because I, seeing how big the needle was, I thought I would at least still feel something like much more substantial. But it's actually like zero to no feelings at all after the anesthesia, anesthesia kicked in. Honestly, light speed, like it was faster than expected. Like before, before I realized the machine started beeping and the 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 person said I'm done already. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it's actually not so bad. Do you have any tips or advice for people who really, really scared of donating blood? Um, the easiest tips I can give is just don't look at it. <laughs> it looks a lot worse. But as long as you don't look at it, you feel it, it's just sudden like, suddenly set on something sharp, it's like, ow, and that's about it. And you look back and say, it's done. Actually, actually, the needle isn't as pain as we thought. It's just the, the, the looks of it. It looks scary, but that is the factor that is actually scaring people to make it like have that stereotype that is actually painful but uh, it's not as bad as it is uh, yeah. I was trying my best to converse with any, anyone and everyone around me so I mean you meet different people, interesting people actually um, well maybe if you're here alone you can reflect I guess Step 6 After blood donation, donors will proceed for a refreshment before they go Blood donation is a simple process with nothing to fear of. You don't need to be a doctor to save life, just be a blood donor. After all, you can get a free health screening as well. If you are family or friends in the RSAF, and you too want to donate blood and be a part of the RSAF CARES campaign, you can by quoting the below in order to have your blood donation counted towards the RSAF CARES campaign. There are only four days left to be a part of this blood donation drive. Hope to see you there! there.